Welcome back, beautiful nesters. I hope you all are blessed and doing well. Let's take a look at the herbs I have growing in my garden, and we'll talk about the benefits and uses as well. Here I'm harvesting rosemary. This is definitely a companion in the kitchen. It is also really easy to grow. It can be started from seed or it can be propagated from, from a stem cutting. Rosemary is known for holistic beneficial properties as well. It can be steeped as a tea, it's known to be an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory. It also improves digestion, it helps with concentration. It can be even grown as a bush and or as a hedge. I'm growing several varieties of basil in my garden this season, purple, green, and a spicy variety, and all of them add an exceptional amount of health benefits to my garden. They have disease-fighting antioxidants, they're anti-inflammatory, cancer-fighting, antibacterial, antimicrobial, and can you believe that the thyme and the oregano have the same beneficial benefits as well? Amazing herbs that will help heal your body. And here in the pineapple sage, dill, cilantro, garden sage, a bed, um, I do have other herbs in this bed as well, but we're only going to cover this one today because there's yarrow in here and several other varieties. But what I really like about the pineapple sage is the smell. You can rub the leaf and you can actually release the smell and the aroma from all of these herbs. And that will also help you distinguish your herbs from any kind of weeds that may be in your garden bed. Well, we all are familiar with the lovely lavender. Lavender can be used in our cooking, it can be used for healing, for soothing, for aromatherapy. Um, a lavender can be used for your body. Lavender is an amazing herb to add to your garden. Here I have Spanish lavender and I really love the blooms from this. I've already harvested the blooms earlier in the season and now I'm just going to trim down the plant just a little bit. Not cutting into the wood, but I'm cutting into the new growth and I'm just going to shape up the plant just a little bit. But fused for sachets and soaps and oils, lavender is an amazing healing holistic herb. Here we have lemongrass and I do have a couple of lemongrass plants in my garden and this is a beautiful beautiful plant to add to your garden not only is it a medicinal plant to add to your garden but it is a beautiful one nevertheless it kills bacteria is a fever reducer is supports your immune system it treats your digestive disorders it helps reduce inflammation it will help with diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, arthritis, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's disease. It helps to fight cancer. It has antioxidants. It um, is an amazing, amazing herb to add. Also helps to fight flus and colds. So you could steep this in a tea and sip this when you're not feeling well, and it will help bring your body back and restore your body back into balance. And here is one of my prized possessions in the garden, my bee balm. This dear plant was given to me by my late friend Hannah. And I started the lavender variety in my garden as well. The flower and the leaves can be used medicinally for healing. It has been known as a pain reliever. It has been used to heal minor wounds and insect bites and stings and eczema. It can help with cold sores and acne. You can steep it in tea, you can use it as a tea tincture as a balm. Bee balm is antibacterial and it is amazing. Here 
in my garden, I am growing hyssop and I'm growing several varieties of hyssop. Used as an infusion in tea and cold remedies, it will relieve congestion. Hyssop is antiviral. It is definitely good herb to use for any type of topical fungus on your skin. It is a beautiful herb, definitely worth adding to your garden. And that is it. That is our last herb for this particular tour in the garden. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something today. Take a deeper look into the herbs that I've mentioned to you today and find out their holistic medicinal properties and get to know them. They'll be your friends in the garden forever. Like this video if you like it and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.